let us glorify God. You may kindly share with us your words of testimony. The grace of all times. Uh, people of God, since I came to this ministry, my life has been full of grace. And indeed, this ministry, the grace is a grace of all times. And in this year, the man of God declared that it's a year of elevation. We shall be elevated spiritually and physical. And we fasted for this elevation for the whole of January for 40 days. And months and months passed on as if this elevation was not evident. But it was towards the end of this year, as the year is coming to the end, that I started to realize that we are actually marching in a great elevation. Spiritually, this church is no longer way to us. And physically, I personally, I had a great financial breakthrough of all of my lifetime. Let us glorify God. Yes, you may continue. When I started working, everything that I was doing, I was constantly exert a lot of pressure and make sure that I persevere to achieve what I wanted to achieve. But my accounts will always be negative. From different banks and different financial institutions. How check the balance of the super negative. Can I go to the service charges? the service charges. I'm going to go to the service charges. I'm going to go to the service charges. But it was not this case this year. After the God of Jeremiah Putewa has declared that we shall be elevated. Hallelujah. Amen. I had a lot of financial breakthrough this year to the extent that each and every day, I feel like saying thank you, Jesus. Amen. My accounts do not have a lot of money, but I constantly have money. Amen. Constantly have money this year. Not a huge amount, but enough and sufficient for all my needs. Amen. Even my put, extra needs. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> What, what is surprising me sometimes is my dad's and I'm more more of a media accountant. I'm making say this is a word something, and I realized that surely this is the restoration of all the finances that I lost in my entire life. Let us glorify God. So it is quite good and wonderful to be in the presence of God. God, let us remember that the man of God is always declaring financial breakthrough upon our lives. 
He is always declaring to us to take out our bank cards. And I tell you, if you receive them, you will receive just like Mr. Lansom saying he continues to receive. And to this financial breakthrough by the grace of God, I managed to erect a bachelor pad. Jesus. They actually do the best. Yes. They are having some financial breakthroughs. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But what what always amazes me is by us more hurry, but I know they're very very well. And they do it perfectly. So now we managed to erect a bachelor house. Me Majana Lobra. It's not a huge amount, but constantly my dear and I was able to build a house. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. You say it's in your own category. Yeah, me for a car on a lima diamond, just as a bear. Me and our guy kids. If you like, it's in the chorn or legacy, and it's legacy, let's say, more on it for so many years. Me have a little bit of nothing. Me have to say that I am a diamond. Me have no fear. That case, the God of Jeremiah put was broken. Amen. Mr. Nelson, now that you have seen the hand of God in your financial life, what word of advice can you give to those who are listening to you right now? I want them to know that we have a shepherd. Oh yes. Who fills us and anoints our heads always, anoints our thoughts, anoints our ways. And my cup is overflowing. Oh, yes. And definitely your cup will overflow. Yes. Before the end of this year, yes, Lord. your cup Amen. will overflow. Yes. Of elevation, oh, yes. it does not matter how many months are left, it does not matter how many days are left. Oh, yes. I have seen this in October, and I was able to build a house in October. We thank you for sharing with us your words of testimony and truly may your cup continue to overflow. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. Amen.